Question for you. Would you use marijuana and drive off while being watched by cops? That's what's about to happen in a new scientific study taking place here in California. Tonight, we're getting answers on how this could help researchers understand more about the effects of cannabis when it comes to driving a car. California's Department of Motor Vehicles will soon be looking for volunteers to light up a joint and get behind the wheel. It would be a little intimidating, but I would still do it. No, I would not volunteer to drive a car under the influence of weed. It's part of an upcoming study on the impacts that smoking cannabis has on driving abilities. I would say no, I'm not brave enough to smoke a joint and get in the car, but I do appreciate the actual process of it. Those who take part will smoke either marijuana or a placebo and then drive around the CHP Academy racetrack in a car equipped with sensors recording their actions and tracking their movements to within just two centimeters. They need to know <laughs> how it is, you know, before they start giving people DUIs. Recreational marijuana use has been legal in California since 2018, but unlike alcohol, where the legal driving limit is .08, currently there is no universal definition of illegal cannabis driving. Folks who are under the influence of narcotics or marijuana, they, they tend to react slower, the, the, the way they turn the steering wheel, the way they apply the brakes. So to make an arrest, officers are trained to look for signs of impairment. We look at the eyes, we listen to the way they speak. A lot of times they have a, a slurred speech or slower speech. Once you start to smoke something, your, your judgment changes. Lori Bergenstock with Mothers Against Drunk Driving supports more research into the drug's effects on drivers. The more we look into how cannabis impacts driving, the better educated and the better equipped we are to deal with it, the better equipped law enforcement is to deal with it. A DMV is not yet accepting volunteers for the study, which has received federal and state approvals and will be overseen by scientists from the UC San Diego Center for Medical Cannabis Research.